Top 10 Things Not to Do on Internet Before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you never miss our latest content. 1. Make sure you're using a secure internet connection. Although using public Wi-Fi is not recommended, it's sometimes unavoidable when you are out and about. However, when you go online in a public place and use a public Wi-Fi connection, you have no direct control over its security, which could leave you vulnerable to cyber attacks. So if you are using public Wi-Fi, avoid carrying out personal transactions that use sensitive data, such as online banking or online shopping. If you need to do any one of these, use a virtual private network or VPN. A VPN will protect any of the data you send over an unsecured network via real-time encryption. If you don't use a VPN, we recommend saving any personal transactions until you can use a trusted internet connection. 2. Choose strong passwords. Passwords are one of the biggest weak spots when it comes to cybersecurity. People often choose passwords that are easy to remember and therefore easy for hackers to crack with hacking software. In addition to this, using the same password for multiple sites puts your data at further risk. If hackers obtain your credentials from one site, they can potentially access other websites which use the same login details. 3. Enable multi-factor authentication where you can. Multi-factor authentication, MFA, is an authentication method that asks users to provide two or more verification methods to access an online account. For example, instead of simply asking for a username or password, multi-factor authentication goes further by requesting additional information. Multi-factor authentication decreases the likelihood of a successful cyber attack. To make your online accounts more secure, it's a good idea to implement multi-factor authentication where possible. You can also consider using a third-party authenticator app, such as Google Authenticator or Authy, to help with your internet security. 4. Keep software and operating systems updated. Developers are constantly working to make products safe, monitoring the latest threats and rolling out security patches in case of vulnerabilities in their software. By using the latest versions of your operating systems and apps, you will benefit from the latest security patches. This is especially important for apps that contain payment, health, or other sensitive information about a user. 5. Check that websites look and feel reliable. For any website you visit, especially ones you transact with, such as e-commerce sites, it's crucial that they are reliable. A key element to look out for is an SSL security certificate. This means look out for URLs that start with HTTPS rather than HTTP. The S stands for secure and have a padlock icon in the address bar. 6. Review your privacy settings and understand privacy policies. Marketers love to know all about you, and so do hackers. Both can learn a lot from your browsing and social media usage, but you can take charge of how much information third parties can access. Both web browsers and mobile operating systems have settings to protect your privacy online. Social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, amongst others, have privacy-enhancing settings that you can activate. It's worth taking a while to review your privacy settings across the board and make sure they are set to a level you are comfortable with. 7. Be careful of suspicious links and where you click. A careless click can expose your personal data online or infect your device with malware. That's why it's essential to browse consciously and avoid certain types of online content, such as links from untrusted sources and spam emails, online quizzes, clickbait, free offers, or unsolicited ads. When you're on a website, make sure links click through to relevant or expected topics. For example, if you click on a link that you think is about Safaris in Africa, but instead you're taken to a clickbait-style page about celebrity weight loss or a where are they now style piece, then quickly close the page. 8. Make sure your devices are secure. With up to 60% of people using mobile devices for shopping and finding information online, instead of a desktop, it's important that they are secured correctly. With all your devices, phones, computers, tablets, smartwatches, smart TVs, etc., it's good practice to use passwords or passcodes and other security options 
like fingerprint readers or face scanning technology. These measures will reduce the likelihood of a cyber attack or your personal data being stolen by hackers. 9. Backup data regularly. It's important to backup important personal information on external hard drives and regularly create new backups. Ransomware, a type of malware, involves cyber criminals locking your computer so you can't access valuable files. Backing up your data and your family's data helps mitigate the impact of a ransomware attack. You can protect yourself further with appropriate security software. Other forms of malware deny you access to your personal data by overwhelming your system or simply deleting files, so be careful. 10. Close unused accounts. Over the years, many of us accumulate old accounts that we no longer use. These can be a weak link in terms of safety when using the internet. Not only are old accounts more likely to have weaker passwords, but some of those sites may have poor data protection policies. In addition, cyber criminals could piece together the information you have left in them. For example, old social media profiles, such as your date of birth or location, etc., to build up a picture of your identity in an attempt to hack you later. As a result, we recommend closing your old online accounts and requesting that your data be deleted from the relevant third-party servers. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to for more content. Hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thank you for watching.